Hi, I'm Vibrine Samuels and welcome back to another episode of Soulstone Astrology where I give you my texture take on the world of astrology. Well, next week, Wednesday, that's January the 17th, there is a new moon in Capricorn and it's a very potent new moon and the reason for this is because there are six planets in forward direction in Capricorn. So we have the Sun, we have Moon, we have Pluto, Venus, Saturn, which has come home to one of its natural houses, as well as Mercury. So here it's about step by step creating this new identity. Now four of the planets are forming a square to Uranus. And so here you've got this invitation to restructure your emotional uh, responses, your core identity, what it is that you value, and your use of power. So when we have um, so many planets, there are six planets within an Earth sign, it's really a clear indication for you to rise up in yourself and demonstrate your uniqueness. Now with the square to Uranus, Uranus is saying it's time to challenge your own personal status quo in terms of your sense of uh, self-perception, but also how you think the world responds to you. Now, if we just look around the world, we live in a very youth-centric driven environment. Young people or young initiatives are celebrated and people, for example, who are over 50, like myself, I'm 54, happily 54, but people in their 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s and 90s tend to get pushed out on the uh, outer perimeters of life unless they claim their uniqueness. And that's what this yeah, a stellium really of planets in Capricorn is indicating for you to do. How can you step into your uniqueness and rebut this assumption that it's only a youth generated in a society that's able to make a value contribution? You know, employers, for example, may say that older people are more difficult to deal with or uh, they're not used to or will refuse to get used to new technology. And I think as somebody like myself at 54, I've rebutted all of that, clearly rebutted that. Um, I'm teaching myself how to code. I'm loving my JavaScript journey. I'm also building a tech product and really love this tech environment as well as being an astrologer, writer and a couple of other things as well. So... As we're moving towards 2020, where we're going to have another alignment where we've got Jupiter and Saturn and Pluto showing up uh, in Capricorn, now it's a sense that we're having a, a, a precursor to what it is that you are called to do and demonstrate in the world. It's about owning uh, your authority, owning your influence. Now, don't forget that Saturn has just left Sagittarius, and Sagittarius is about your personal authority, your personal um, philosophy, your principles. What is it that you stand for? Now that we've got this forward direction of six planets in Capricorn, it will be wise for you to think about what is that personal philosophy that you cultivated when Saturn was moving through Sagittarius and how can you now demonstrate that and bring that into society. We are all waiting for the contribution that you're going to make. Now alongside um, this uh, heavy stellium in Capricorn, we also have Jupiter it's forming a sextile with Mars. Both planets are in Scorpio. Mars co-rules Scorpio. So here we're looking at um, power and the exertion of power. It's in water, so it's about uh, hidden power. It could be about frustrations, um, but it also could be an invitation because it's there with Jupiter to fight for your beliefs. Fight for something that you really stand for and then show the world what that means to you. And that's why this beautiful con configuration of Jupiter in Mars is saying stand up and fight for what you believe in. Now the fight energy, given it's Mars in Scorpio, which is a powerful position, is being uh, softened because Mars forms a sextile with Venus. And so where you have um, Venus and Mars, that's harmony, that's love, that's tranquility, and Venus is softening the element of Mars. And so therefore, um, if you're entering into what could be perceived as a conflictual situation, Venus will soften that. Also, Mars is forming a trine to uh, Chiron. So Chiron is an indication of where you've been wounded. And you could have been wounded in your capacity to express what it is that you really uh, feel or this sense of assertion. So here again, 
if there's this um, potential for conflictual situations, with the trying to um, Chiron, it's about your ability not to um, avoid conflict, but to take on conflictual situations and deal with it in a, a kind of sensitive, compassionate way, because Chiron is in Pisces after all. So here it's about sensitivity, uh, reading the zeitgeist. You aren't able to rely on logic because there are no planets in air signs. So it's about reading the environment, having a sense of the zeitgeist, um, picking up on the sensitivities, the energies and the subtleties around you, and then being reflective before you actually make any decisions to move the situation on. So it's a very, very powerful time. It's about um, building this foundation, but step by step. And with so many planets in Earth, it's time for you to reconstruct your identity on all levels. Now, where you've got the Moon and Uranus, and it's a square, what it might also do is reawaken, bring up those feelings from childhood, where you may have felt um, traumatized in some way or disconnected emotionally because we're dealing with the moon here and there was a difficult for you difficulty for you to um, demonstrate your emotions due to a trauma look at what's happening with Mars Venus and Chiron because those difficult feelings could be ameliorated on some form that softens the blow softens the pain where we're able to reconnect with it and also learn to integrate the child self and emotions into your adult life. So that's it, beautiful people. That's this new moon in Capricorn. It's powerful. It's a precursor to 2020, uh, where there's even more evolution and more revolution. And these planets in Capricorn are calling for you to kickstart your own personal revolution, particularly because we're dealing with Pluto, which is about power, we're dealing with Uranus, which is about the higher mind, and it's about taking striking action. So that's it. Put your comments in the comment box below. Uh, you know, I always love to connect with you. Let's get a dialogue going around this. Brings me to the quote of the day, which is by uh, Ken uh, Burchard, and what he said is, Successful leadership is to do with influence and not authority. And then that brings me to the question of the day, which is around, what can you do to contribute towards creating an ageless society where everybody is seen? So put your comments in the comment box below. Feel free to share this with anybody in your network. You can like and subscribe to my channel. And it's the new year, it's new beginning. So if you're looking for a personal reading on any aspect of your life, um, which brings in terms of uh, the transits that are flowing through 2018, drop me an email at googlemail.com. We can kickstart a conversation and I would love to serve you in terms of reading the dynamics of your chart. So until then, beautiful people, I will see you again on the next episode. Bye.